Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Evans. I'm an educator at the St. Louis Zoo. Recently, my coworker, Allison Mauser and I went to Forest Park to monitor the water quality of a stream. Have you ever heard of the Missouri Stream Team? If you haven't, you should definitely learn more about it because the St. Louis Zoo has their own team. And usually, senior marine biologist specialty campers help monitor this stream site during camp. But unfortunately, we couldn't have camp this year. And so this is why Alice and I went to the stream site to still do the work and collect the really important data. So coming up, you're gonna to get to see a little glimpse of what we did and look at what we found in the stream site. I hope you enjoy it. Healthy waterways are important for people and animals, and there are different ways to assess the health of the water. One way to determine water quality is to survey what macro invertebrates are present. Macro invertebrates are very small animals without a backbone, often found in the larval or nymph stage of their life cycle. Our monitoring resulted in a score of fair for the water quality, which is consistent with all prior data. The stream site rating was 17. 12 to 17 is considered fair for water quality. Below that range is considered poor, and the next ratings above are considered good and excellent. A specialized net called a kick net is used to collect three different samples of macroinvertebrates at the site, starting downstream and moving upstream. For each sample, macroinvertebrates were isolated to identify and count, and then returned to their original location in the stream. We didn't find crayfish and snails like usual, but we still found some interesting macroinvertebrates. Here is a look at some of the animals that Allison and I identified during this sampling trip. Macroinvertebrates are indicators of the health of the water based on their tolerance to pollution. The caddisfly larva is sensitive to pollution, meaning they will not survive in unhealthy water. Others, like the damselfly nymph and scud, are considered somewhat tolerant to pollution levels. We've also added a few pictures of what these tiny animals look like when they finish their life cycle to become an adult. The pollution tolerant invertebrates are hardy and can thrive in unhealthy water. Leeches are an excellent example of those. The water quality rating is determined by the variety of macroinvertebrates found at the stream site, giving higher points to the invertebrates sensitive to pollution. During this sampling trip, we found three species of pollution sensitive invertebrates, three species of somewhat tolerant, and two species of tolerant, which gave us that ending rating of 17, right on the border of fair and good water quality. You can do your part to help our local waterways. A simple option with high impact is picking up litter. Next time you take the dog for a walk or go to the park, bring a bag and tongs to pick up trash. Keeping litter in its place and out of our waterways can make a huge difference to keeping our habitats healthy for the animals that live there. If you are interested in learning how to start your own stream team, please visit mostreamteam.org. That's mostreamteam.org for more information.